Now we move on to the boys bracket semifinals. I see Norcom a bit of a surprise taking on Chantilly here at the Siegel Center in Richmond. And the boys from Portsmouth would try to get it going on early. James Theus in the corner for three, knocks it down. Big shot from Theus in the opening minutes of the game. And you see Norcom pushing the tempo here, swinging the ball around the corners. Theus again from the land of three, finds the bottom of the net. Theus is second three-pointer of the first quarter as the Greyhounds look to add to the lead, but defensively they would have to contend with the seven-foot center for Chantilly. A big shot there by the center, number 54, John Manning. That's right, John Manning, an inside presence here. You see Chantilly going coast to coast. Point guard not, uh, made there, Devin Ballum with the layup. The Chargers now playing defense as inside Jeremy Canney with the floater right over the big man, hits it for two for the Greyhounds. Chantilly hanging around here, going back inside to the big man, but a great defensive play made by who? But the big man himself from Norcom. The Eastern District Player of the Year, Dorian Finney-Smith, rising and meaning that shot at the top of the point, and he knocks it away. And you, once again, you see the versatility of him, this time going one-on-one -on -one at the top of the key and dishing off to his own teammate. Paul Nicholson gets the hoop there, now going into the second half. The Chargers trailing the Greyhounds by seven as the Norcom band continues to play on. Up by seven now in the second half on defense are the Greyhounds, and they would have to contend with a renewed effort by the Chargers again, finding Manning down low, open for two. That's right, the Chargers on a bit of a run here to start the second half. Everything just starting to fall here. You see three after three after three, and Norcom finds himself back in the game as Chantilly just continues to rain the threes from, the, from behind the arc. Adam Friede with three straight three-pointers, much to the dismay of Leon Goolsby and his team, as Norcom in a dogfight now, trailing the Chargers 32 to 31 with five minutes left in the third quarter. Momentum definitely on the side of the Chargers now. Ball in the hand of number 23. That's Keith Savage just knocking down the jump shot. Great play here from the Chantillys right now with all the momentum in this game going into the fourth quarter. A five-point advantage would grow to seven in the fourth quarter, but it would be up once again to Dorian Finney-Smith to get the Greyhounds back in it with a super jam there. As you see it one more time, Manning not even trying to get on that poster. Great job by Finney Smith, as you see him taking over as all great players do for his team, now dishing the ball, finding the open teammate, knocking down the big bucket. Carlos Anderson, another one of these leaders for the Greyhounds, knocks the open J down. Norcom still trailing 49 to 48 late here in the fourth quarter. With the basketball come the Greyhounds, number 23 Cameron Mack goes all the way to the basket, just abusing Manning, drawing the foul. He'd get one more at the line. And really, Chris, this was a turning point in the game when Norcom went to those four corners. They had so much athleticism, so much depth, they were able to pick up part of Chantilly defense and get to the buck. And Carlos Anderson with the layup there. And the final score, I see Norcom 61, Chantilly 52. Dorian Finney-Smith with 18 points to Carlos Anderson with 15 for the Greyhounds. Keith and Savage with 19 to lead all scores for the Chargers. And in other scores, we have a final here. York falling to Spotswood by the final score of 60 to 47. York led in scoring by Shannon Lewis as well as for Spotswood, Brianna Mitchell leading the way with 14. And Cave Spring knocking off New Kent 71 to 59. Cave Spring led by Justin Williams with his 16 and Josh Henderson leading the way for New Kent with 31.